Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Aubrey. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. I always appreciate when people come back to my channel. So today I got a little bit of a lot going on here. So I have my weekly empties, what I got through this past week. I'm going to do a quick recap on what since I did with Rose Girls last week for Christine's um, Rose Girls Melting Challenge. And then we'll just talk about the September Melting Basket. So let's just get started. So um, I'll start with retail. So this week I have something a little different. So we'll start with retail, we'll do Scentsy, and then I'll do Vendor. And then um, I'm going to show you guys, hold on just a second. Something else um, that I've been thinking about incorporating into my channel, but I will ask you guys and see if there's enough, I guess, want for it. So let's start with retail. So I got through a Palo Santo and Sage from White Barn and the scent notes are Clary Sage, Palo Santo and Embered Woods. You guys, this is such a good candle. Sorry, I'm trying to, this is like, I've already cleaned it out. This lived its life. I did, I did burn this one for a little bit and it did get to about like the halfway point and then it just got funky. So I put it under my candle lamp. It did amazing. This is such a beautiful, like if you want your home to smell like a spa, like a true authentic spa, pick yourself up some Palo Santo and Sage. It's amazing. Then I got through a hand soap in Sweet Whiskey. The notes on this are Golden Amber, Vanilla Infused Whiskey, and Sweet Red Berries. You guys, I cannot, cannot stand this scent. There's something about it that just does not set right with my nose. Yeah, I can't do it. I don't know if it's just a weird whiskey scent that's making me not appreciate this scent and yeah I think I think this is my last one I think I had two or three of them because they were on sale so I need to just buy one and if I like it then buy another one instead of buying three because they're on sale and then I end up not liking it so that's all I got through for retail. Then from Scentsy, okay guys, I did it. I've had this bar for a while in my collection and I'm just like, I gotta melt it, I gotta melt it, I gotta melt it. So I finally melted it. And this is Newborn Nursery from Scentsy. And Newborn Nursery is fresh, clean, and powdery. This dreamy scent evokes memories of cradling your little one. You guys, this is probably the most powdery scent since he makes. And it smells just like baby powder. I'm not going to say it was horrible. It definitely, I agree. It takes me back when my boy was teeny tiny and just snuggling with him and you know using the the baby powder and it was it was nice it was reminiscent of when my child was young but I don't think that I would like run out to repurchase this one but it was nice while I had it okay let's move on to oh I lied Haha, <laughs> another dryer disc. Told you guys. 
the day that I get rid of these dryer discs is going to be a fabulous day. But I, ca I can't bring myself to just throw them away. So if I happen to come across somebody who wants some of these, I will happily gift them to them. Okay, so now let's move on to vendor. So this one I was gifted from Shijo, and this is from the Smell Good Shop, and it's Aqua de Geotype, which is Aquatic N Nuances, Bergamot, Neroli, Rosemary, and Patchouli, Pink Toasty Marshmallow, Pink Sugar Toasty Marshmallow, and The Huntsman, which is Shaving Cream and Blue Sugar. You guys, this was the most beautiful bedroom scent. Like I really picked up that, it, for me, I picked up the patchouli and the blue sugar and the pink sugar. I didn't really get much of that like toasty marshmallow in this blend, but I would definitely, definitely repurchase this. So Shijo. Thank you so much for sharing this with me so that I could experience the scent. Then the next one that I got through, so this was, I won this from April We, April We, April Lee Wax Queen. And this was um, Fantasy Wax and this was Flapjacks. So, I could not smell this. My husband is like, oh, this is the most lovely vanilla scent. On cold, I smell like pancakes. Where he got vanilla from, I have, I have no idea, but he really, really, really enjoyed this. And then, oh my gosh, this was so good. Um, I melted Bonfire at the Beach from the Candle Nurse, and this is Sugar sugar Cookie Royale, Salty Sea Air, Bonfire Bliss, and Fire Roasted Marshmallows. And this was good. This went all day. I ended up putting this in a hot plate warmer, and it went all day for me. And I should say, this Fantasy Wax, this went for about six hours for me six to eight hours and um the smell good shop it went all day for me um the smell good shop i did in my scentsy warmer uh fantasy i did in a hot plate and candle nurse i did in a hot plate so that is what i got through in vendor now, I did get through a couple of my essential oils. So I did get through orange. Oh, I got through two oranges. And I just about finished up my lemon because I just re did an order um, for lemon and orange for my... Um, kind of my all-purpose cleaner that I interchange with my Scentsy Counter Clean. So I just brought this so you guys can see. Um, the company that I purchase my essential oils through is called Aromatic International. And I don't know if the label is going to show up in here. Um fun fact about me is I am currently, I've been doing this for a while, um, learning to be a certified aromatherapist. I really enjoy essential oils. Um, they just, not only do they allow me to incorporate some natural fragrance into my home, but there's also like a lot of products that I make um, using my essential oils. So, um, if there's interest out there and you guys want to see how I use my essential oils, 
then leave a comment down below and I will happily share um, some of the things that I do with my essential oils, some of my diffuser blends, um, some of the things that I make for around the house. I actually um, do also use it um, for some skincare and I also use it in the winter when we get sick. So yeah, just let me know. If you guys wanna know um, how I use my essential oils, leave a comment below and I will put up some videos and share some of that with you. So now we're gonna talk about Rose Girls. So um, the first one here is Cobbler Cheesecake. This is Blackberry Cobbler, Cherry Cobbler, and Cheesecake. So this was a nice berry scent. This went, I put it in a hot plate and I put it in a Scentsy warmer and it, it, it went for about six hours in my hot plate and it went for about eight hours in my Scentsy warmer. So I think having that slower, lower temperature kind of slowed down the process of releasing this fragrance, but this was a nice like berry fragrance. Then I did Badger State Cocoa, which is hot cocoa peppermint marshmallow smoothie. <clears throat> so I did this in a Scentsy Warmer, two Scentsy Warmers actually in a hot plate. Two days guys, two days. So I'm gonna be sharing some of this. I'll tell you about that in a minute. I'm all about, I'll tell you in a minute in this video. Then we have the Olive Branch, which is a Lush Type Clothes on the Line from Rose Girls. So this was, this is kind of like a fresh, clean, it, it borders on laundry because it's, you know, Clothes on the Line, but I think that Olive Branch kind of helps take away that pungent uh, laundry scent. Um, and once again, I did this in a hot plate and in my Scentsy Warmer, and it went two days. Then we did Metal Mario, which is Stainless Steel and Seductive Quiet Man. So this one was lighter to me. This definitely had like a cologne -y. yeah, this was a cologne type almost, I think Seductive Quiet Man is like a shaving cream type. Um, so yeah, this one was like a medium thrower in both my hot plate and my Scentsy Warmer. And this particular scent only went for one day for me, but I mean, that's still great. Then I did Cookie Land from Rose Girls, which is confetti cake, toffee butterscotch, pretzels and cookies. This, you guys, is so good. So, so, so good. And this is from 2022. So this one only lasted a day, but while it was going, oh my God, it was so strong. And you really got that butterscotch and that pretzel scent. So I think I'm going to, I'll tell you about that later too, in a few minutes. And then last but not least, we did um, Morning Sex. And this is just a beautiful, fresh, clean scent. I did this one. So this one was interesting. So I did this one in a hot plate here in my little, I call it my junk room. Um, and it went all day. And then I did it in two Scentsy Warmers in my bedroom. Yeah, this is such a fresh pretty scent. Um, I did it in two Scentsy Warmers in my bedroom and my bathroom and it went for like a day and a half. So I think what I'm gonna do is like these scents that I really, really, really enjoy from Rose Girls, I'm gonna toss them in my, in my Scentsy Warmers because I just get longer performance from them and then if it's like a meh scent then I'll just throw it in a hot on a on a hot plate so 
So that brings us to my September melting basket, which is empty. So I am going to put a little bit of morning sex in there. I'm going to put a little bit of cookie land in there. I'm going to put a little bit of the olive, olive branch in there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this Badger State Cocoa in there. I was thinking about putting some of this Metal Mario and I might still do that. I don't know. I, I'm undecided. I just feel because it was kind of light for me. I, I'm not sure if I want to like pass that along and, and have somebody be disappointed, but I might do it anyways. I don't know. So that you guys is what I got through this past week. Um, I really enjoyed the Rose Girls um, melting challenge. It's just hard for me because Rose Girls performs so well in my house that it takes me forever. It just, it takes me forever to get through one of these mini melter bags. So, um, I just need her to make smaller bags so then I can get more sense and get through it quicker. Um, but you know, that's not a bad thing. I mean, great performing wax is not a problem, right? Um, and then just, I want to say to everybody who commented, commented on my videos in August, thank you so much. I enjoy the correspondence and I enjoy the conversation and keep it up. And I was shocked. I was thoroughly shocked when we did the jar and I was putting all these names in and I was like, oh my God, I'm getting so many comments. So thank you guys for that. And I think I'm going to wrap it up now here. And if you are not subscribed to my channel and you like this type of content, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you hit the notification button, then you'll get notified each and every time I upload a new video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Um, sorry, I didn't get this out on Monday, but I wanted to get out my, um, August melting basket before we got too far into the month. So I will see you guys in my next video and have a great evening, day, whenever you're watching this. Bye.